I was just over at my Indian spotted turtles and it looks like one of my females has just laid her eggs. She is being just such a great mom. Okay, we got another one. We got another one right here. This is the other female right here. She's a lot heavier. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, this is their offspring from last year. I mean, just take a look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh, guys, there's an egg right here. This right here is the very first egg that I see, and there's more. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. My day here at the house just got a whole lot better because I was just over at my Indian Spotted Turtles, and it looks like one of my females has just laid her eggs. Looks like she's kind of covering the nest up. It could possibly be a test nest where there's no eggs, but I am hoping that there is some eggs in there. But before we actually head over there to check her out, I want to let all of you know that we are going to be picking the name for the little baby lion. I know a lot of you have been waiting for that. We're going to be doing that at the end of today's video. So if you want to hear about that, stick along for to today's video. But without further ado, we're going to go head over and check out this turtle. All right, guys, we just got over here and take a look at this female. You can see that she's kind of excavated this area and there's like a little pocket right underneath her. She is actually depositing all of her eggs inside of there. Now, I don't want to disturb her too much or be too loud. And we got Mr. Louis Izino over here taking a look he's like hmm what's going on here what is going on here what are you doing here this girl right here actually did a test nest right over there you guys saw it a couple videos ago but I'm so excited that she is possibly laying her eggs it could be another test nest but she is being just such a great mom I mean you could see that she's here intricately digging her nest chamber she's gonna deposit those eggs and then later on if she actually deposits those eggs in there once she is done with the nesting cycle and she's back in the water I'm going to come and remove the eggs and put them in the incubator but for now oh wait wait oh my god oh my gosh there she goes Oh, I'm sorry, mom. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna leave her. I'm just gonna. I, I, I'm just gonna leave her alone to do her thing, and I will be back with all of you once we know she laid her eggs. One hour later. We are back outside now, and the female Indian spotted turtle has actually left the nesting site. Now she could have possibly dug a test nest didn't like how the nest came out and she could have covered it back up, gone back in. There could possibly be no eggs inside of there, but we're hoping there's eggs in there. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. A couple days ago, she was actually digging a test nest, no eggs, so hopefully she laid eggs this time. But before we actually uncover this nest, I'm going to pull the turtles out for everyone that's new to the channel, show you guys my Indian spotted turtles. So I'm just gonna stick my hands inside of this water. You can see the visibility is literally at about four inches. We're just gonna reach, reach, reach. They're probably gonna be in this corner. They love this corner and, okay, okay. I got one right here. This right here is the female that was actually up top. Now, this female right here, let's see. She feels a little light, like she may have actually deposited some eggs. She's being a good girl and we're just gonna kind of put her back in there right now. We have one male and two females inside of this pond. Okay, okay, we got another one. We got another one right here. This is the other female right here. She's a lot heavier, wow. The difference, whoa, ho, ho, ho. the difference between this female and the other one is pretty big. This one is so much heavier, so I think the other one probably deposited her eggs. Oh, you're doing so well right here. We've got a nice big female. One way you can always tell the male turtles from the females is the females have a flat bottom, whereas the males have a more of a concave shell. This beautiful female is doing so well. We're just gonna kind of put her back inside of this pond, and now we're gonna try to reach around to find the male. Where is he? All right, I've just got the male. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. The male is definitely the prettiest out of the trio. The male has got amazing spots. You can see that this guy has a concave shell like I was talking about. You can kind of see that shell right now. It's concave for mounting on the females. Now these turtles are a critically endangered species from Asia, but here in the United States, due to captive breeding efforts, these guys are doing so incredibly well that they're just an absolute ton of them. I should produce about 70 of them, but to actually participate in conservation of a critically endangered species is just one of the best feelings ever. How you doing, big guy? You doing well? Oh, he wants to bite me. Ooh, if he could, he would bite my lip like no tomorrow. But we're just gonna take this guy right now. We're going to release him in there, but I wanna show you their babies. Oh, hi, old man, Joe. How you doing, buddy? You doing good? This guy just came over here for some pets, but I wanna show you guys some of their offspring from last year. We're just gonna open this up right here and let's kind of reach around. And okay, we've got one of them. 
This right here is about a yearling Indian spotted turtle. This is one of their babies right there. This is their offspring from last year. I mean, just take a look at how cute they are and just think one day this little guy is going to be a big dinosaur just like his or hers parents. Right now it's too hard to tell whether this is a boy or a girl. So we're just gonna put them back here in this pond and we're just gonna kinda cover this up. And now that we showed you the adults, some of the babies, we are going to go and uncover the nest. So to start this nest uncovery, we have a bin right here. This is going to be our egg collection bin, if there is eggs here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda place this bin in here. I'll kinda place it right here, and I'm gonna fill it with some of the nesting substrate. For the nesting substrate, I used a mixture of sand and soil, so they can dig nice holes and it stays nice and firm. If you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you will actually know that we got these turtles from my friend. You saw the whole setup video where we actually mixed the substrates. Pretty cool video. If you guys have not seen that video, it's going to be linked above. Go check that video out when this one is over. You guys will not want to miss that one. But we're just going to put a little more of this substrate in here, and that looks to be enough. And we're going to put that bin right there and start uncovering her nest. So this is where she nested. I can feel that the soil is very loose. Right here, you can see it's very hard. It's almost in chunks, but here she's been digging and we're just gonna slowly uncover it because we do not want to disturb any of her eggs if they're here. We're just gonna keep uncovering and, oh my gosh, guys, there's an egg right here. This right here is the very first egg that I see and there's more. So guys, let me uncover them some more. Go right now and stop what you're doing, guys, and go comment down below. How many eggs do you think she laid? She could probably have laid up to about anywhere from, I'd say, 15 to 25 eggs. So go comment down below how many you think she laid. This is absolutely amazing. This is actually the first time I have ever had aquatic turtle eggs. And here we go. Here's the first one, a perfect little egg right here. Perfect, beautiful Indian spotted turtle egg. So when these guys hatch out, they are so incredibly tiny, they actually develop inside of this egg. So we've got egg number one here, ready to go inside of the bin. I'm just gonna kind of place that like that. And we're gonna continue pulling these eggs out. We got one more egg right here. And we're gonna be very gentle when we're holding these eggs, just because we don't want any of them to fall and possibly break but these eggs are just so, so beautiful. Right now we're at three eggs. It just looks like there's just so many of these eggs. We got one more. So basically when the female turtle is actually going to lay her eggs, she'll pick an area to nest and she kind of makes a cavity. You can kind of see the outline of this cavity. She'll dig that cavity and if for some reason it doesn't feel right, she won't lay her eggs there, but obviously she felt like this was the perfect place to deposit her eggs. And I mean, having real life Jurassic Park in my backyard is pretty cool. As a kid growing up, I love Jurassic Park. And to actually hatch out my own dinosaurs, little baby turtles is just so cool. And one of my lifelong dreams that I've been able to accomplish through hard work and dedication with these animals. We've got all of our eggs now. At the end of the nest excavation, we ended up with 17 gorgeous Indian spotted turtle eggs. And in about 90 days, these little eggs are going to be tiny little baby turtles. I'm so excited for it. But now, all we have to do is come over here and cover the nest back up. This is where she laid the eggs. We're just gonna cover it back up because during this nesting season, I should get about two clutches of eggs from both females. So I already got the first clutch from the one female. She's probably going to lay another clutch and the other female should lay around two clutches. So now that we got our eggs nice and excavated, we are going to go head inside, put these in tubs and get them in the incubator. One minute, 37 seconds later. We're here in the incubation room now and I have all 17 of the turtle eggs nice and cleaned off. I got all that nasty dirt off and I have our incubation tub ready to go. So we're gonna start by placing the eggs in the tub one at a time. We should be able to fit all of them in. We're just gonna kinda start here. We're gonna make a little indent with my finger and we're gonna have the turtle egg there. That's number one, number two, number three, and we can fit one more number four right here. So again, in about 90 days, these turtle eggs are actually going to hatch and we're gonna have baby Indian spotted turtles here at the house. I'm so incredibly excited for it. It's the first time that I've ever had water turtle eggs. This is literally like real life Jurassic Park in my own house. I grew up watching Jurassic Park, loving it, and now to be able to actually have little dinosaur eggs, put them in the incubator and watch little dinosaurs hatch out, it is just absolutely amazing. So we're just about done here. We've got a couple 
more eggs and then these little guys are gonna go in the incubator. The eggs are now inside of the incubation tub and they are ready to go in the incubator. The only thing left to do is actually put this little lid on and now we're gonna pop these little guys in the incubator. We have a nice open spot right here. Now it's pretty crazy, this incubator is entirely filled with turtle and tortoise eggs. These are the only turtle eggs in there and the rest are all sulcata and red foot tortoise eggs. We're just going to slide this tub right in the back there and put this little cup of water up above. And that's a wrap. We've got the eggs in the incubator. We just got to close it up so we can keep that humidity and heat in there. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching it. If you guys have not already and you enjoyed today's video, please go give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought of these crazy turtle eggs. And guys, I have not forgotten yet about the name for the little baby lion. And I went through all the comments and... I kind of had to pick a name from The Lion King, so I want to give a special shout out to Nightmare Blue and everyone else that pick the name Nala from The Lion King. Absolutely love the name. I mean, what better way to pick a name for a girl lion than Nala? Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.